It's a laxative. I don't like. Oh, that is gorgeous. Mm. What are you beery. expecting from this then? Pain. <laughs> Mum's here. Hi, Mummy. Hello. The internet mum. Uh, <laughs> welcome to our kitchen. Today we are doing a taste test mm -hmm. of Japanese treats that we have mm. had arrive Exciting. in the post. Yes, are you excited? I am. Here we are in a big old bowl. Woo. All this stuff here. Without further ado, let's get going with the very first one. Oh, we should have said mm. Kanichiwa. What's that? So this mother uh, on the screen right now is Bisco, okay? With a happy combination of dietary fiber and probiotics that wake up your stomach. So I thought I'd cleanse the, the palate. Yeah, with a biscuit. Oh, okay. It's They're got, quite small, aren't they? Yeah, it's got a very happy chappy on there. Well, it's a nice subtle start. Wow, that is insanely light. They are light, aren't they? Yeah, it's not really a workout, is it? Um, They're supposed to be full of fiber. Fiber? Oh yeah. Dietary fiber. Mm, that wake up your stomach. It's a laxative. Oh, that just melts in the mouth. Mm. I'm getting a bit of a lemon vibe to it. I don't taste strawberry at all. No. I, could, I do not hate, that is lovely. It's very nice, if it's that, quite delicate. Yeah, if that's mm. a Japanese engine plush, effectively, you know. Uh, mm. um, I want good. to be a doctor in Japan and just prescribe like cookie. That's amazing, <laughs> what a job. A mini cookie. Yeah, a great mm. start. In Japanese, laxative is gizai. Okay, so that's a lovely gizai, mum. They do look a bit like old people's toenails, don't they? <laughs> They are a bit curly. Yeah, I think I'm going to love these. I think you, yeah, you you look really keen, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I thought you look Japanese. No, not yet. Oh, mm. oh, that's nice. That is mm. gorgeous. That's a bit like, you know, sugar puff cereal. That's mm. like that turned up to 11. The honey monster. Yeah. They just melt in the mouth. I feel like I could pour milk on it and I would be in like mm. enhanced to super size curly mm. uh, like sugar puffs. Very nice. This mum, what is this called? It's called a choco daifuku <laughs> marshmallow. Marshmallow. A bite-sized fluffy marshmallow. Actually, mum, you sell it to me. You are Nigella Lawson doing her Japanese taste test special. Go, give me the sultry voice, mum. Okay, so this is a bite-sized fluffy This isn't just any marshmallow. This is a fluffy filled with chocolate cream. Mm. It's like a deflated snowball. So there's chocolate cream in the middle of this. It's slightly powdery, but that is a really cool thing. Oh, quite tough, isn't it? Mm. They really rip into that. That's all right. Mm. A bit polystyrene. The chocolate's a bit too powdery, isn't it? Yes. It's like you're eating chocolate soot. Yeah, it's a bit chewy and the chocolate's an afterthought, isn't mm. it? It's probably the worst mm. so far, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm not, no? not a fan of this one. Okay, I mean, I would eat it if I had to. Mm. I think because we've had our stomach cleanse, we're prepared for like more exciting things and the caramel corn we peaked, right? This is, just feels like an afterthought. So quick, look, make it nicer. Yeah, it's how yeah. can we enhance it? No, mm. that, was, that was okay. This next one is a Seto Shio fried senbei. A crunchy rice cracker with a melt in your mouth texture and seasoned with one of three Moorish flavours. Oh. Except it only tells us one is salted seaweed, one is salted shrimp, and then that's it. It's run out of space. Um, so this could <laughs> so be anything. We don't know what the third one is. No. Okay. Right. Do you like seaweed? Yes. Oh, nice. Ooh, that's a bit, there's something going on in there. I do like seaweed too, so. Ooh. Oh. Crunchy. Tastes fishy. Very crunchy. Excuse the noise. I feel like I'm just eating a bauble off of a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> and some of the seasoning is like some discarded tinsel or something. Mm. That's okay, but it does taste like the sea. You get the seaweed yes. in it. Yeah. I feel, actually feel a bit seasick eating it. Mm. But as a savoury mm. snack, it's not too bad. I think it's a bit overpowering. Are you feeling okay? <laughs> It's, it's that fishiness. Yeah. Next one is three of these things. Look at that, Mum. How could you describe that packaging? What is going on right there that as is, I investigate that what is this is? That is intense colour, isn't it? Intense colour. And that in your hand is a umalbo, which translates to delicious sticks, as we all know from our GCSE French. Crispy hollow tube corn puffs, corn puff sticks, Mum. Mm, okay. Huh? You know, there if we you go. ever get my mum anything for Christmas, now we're getting a corn puff stick, maybe caramel, uh, and not tonkatsu sauce, salami, cheese, 
Teriyaki bur- oh, teriyaki burger, that sounds amazing. Corn pottage? What's pottage? Well, there's also salad flavor. <laughs> there is mentaiko, which is a pollock roe. Takoyaki, chicken curry. Salted beef tongue. Ooh, mum. <laughs> And I don't know, any idea of the, these I just assumed be? that they'd be sweet. I didn't think they'd be curry flavoured. You've got one with a football. Okay. You've got one like on a, that's not, is that a unicycle one, it's one wheel? Uh, and this other one, this guy, oh, he looks like, he's got a lobster with scissors that's quite angry and cutting, a, is he, he's cutting a fish. So it's, that's fishy, isn't it? I don't it? know, is that lobster cutting a fish? That's what I'm trying to say. We have a bit of everyone, shall we? You, you like yeah, corn? Yeah, yeah. Let's hope we just don't get the salad flavour or the uh, or the pottage. Oh, wow. Why do I get a feeling they're all going to look fairly similar? I think we mm. should go for the football one first because it looks the mildest. Oh, no, that smells... What does that smell That smells like? cheesy to me, but mild cheese. It's sweet. Mmm, that is lovely. It tastes like a honey nut cornflake. I don't know what that is. I feel like that tastes like popcorn. That was very confusing. Mm. I think it is caramel. We'll go with that. Japan, mm. if you're watching, let us know. I mean, apologise for our terrible translations. Mm. But um, so far, mm -hmm. these are looking good. Mm. Right, should we try this one? The unicycle spicy scattered herby one with a slightly deeper shade. A snap it. Yeah. Oh, quickie. Ooh, that smells like a burger. Oh, that prawn. is lovely. Prawn. Prawn, is it? Mm. I don't know if that was an option Ooh. there. It's got a bit of a kick. It is nice. I feel like that could be the teriyaki one. It's not salad. No, definitely not salad. It is lovely. And there is definitely some dust scattering on the floor because Boston is going crazy and he mm. might be covered in it. Sorry, mate. I love that. That is amazing. I think that's my favourite thing so far out just of the whole melts, lot. It just melts, doesn't it? It does, yeah. But I think the seasoning really added to that. was really nice. Bit of a surprise, actually. Mm. Right, this last one, mm -hmm. the um, snippy lobster one. It's like a snap mm. and a snooker cue in anger. That smells fishy. I can't smell fish on mine. That's a good thing. I envy you. It's not bad. It's actually what sort of dissolved that? into the corn. It's confused fish flavour, I think. I'm very I think it's confused. The row. It's quite mild. I feel like I've just eaten a whole trout. No. No, eat some more then. Okay, that dust gets everywhere. It does, doesn't it? Look. I'm sure this happens in real authentic Japanese cuisine. Yeah. This looks like a big chocolate cigar. And I think it's very similar to what we've just had. A cute star-shaped corn snack soaked. Soaked. With calcium. By Gimbis Original Impregnation Method. What the heck does that mean? Who is this? Gimbis. Yeah. What so is, many questions. He's what is he doing with that corn stick? He's responsible for a lot, isn't How he? How do you impregnate a corn stick? I think it's going to be a... Melt away. Yeah, you know, like a corn shaft. There you go. That didn't... I said, it looks like a dog treat. Come on. <laughs> it does, didn't it? Yeah. One of those dental chews. <laughs> or something completely... Oh, Boston, you're in luck. If you were to chop it up, is it? That's been impregnated, Mum. <laughs> Smell that. So I'm going, Ooh. never ever say to my mum again. It's supposed to ha- oh, I can't say that, no. What are you going to say? <laughs> I have to know. It's supposed to have what? Leave that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed in that. Not but, so chocolatey. Yeah. If it's tasted how it smelt, that would probably be all of your day's calories in one bite. Mm. I quite like that. Yeah, you can see the impregnation method has only got to the outer of the star and the inside is more of its natural flavour. So um, I like it. I think it's it's nice, it's light enough that you can enjoy it. It's chocolatey. Yeah. Uh, but actually, not too heavy. Quite nice to have something chocolatey as well, in a weird way. Uh, mm. There's been a lot oh. of rice and... Yeah, no, I yeah. needed this. All right, next one uh, is something called a compito. Sugar-based candy mm. made by repeatedly coating a sugar syrup over a grain of sugar over several days, eventually becoming a tiny bulged ball of compito. And it certainly does look sugary. Well, it's just sugar. Mm. Oh, I know, we'll put more sugar on and let it dry out and keep adding sugar for days. That's amazing. Oh, it's not that great. I mean, that's probably why they're all imperfect in some ways. They're, like, they're sort of bumpy. Yeah. 
Yeah, it just smells like sugar, to be fair. Probably what it is though, isn't it? Just full on sugar. That's a bit of a funny shape. Ooh, I have a flavour. I have like orange, I think. Oh, I've got an orange one as well. Ooh, yeah, but when I bit into it, I was like, oh no, this is gonna be really hard. And then I felt like I broke through those days. There's layers of sugar. Oh, crunchy. Is it crunchy for you? Mmm. Oh, I can hear it. I think that's my tooth. <laughs> no any dentists out there. I love the colours <laughs> on this. There's jelly cubes. The flavours in there are strawberry, melon, grapefruit, kyoho grape and ramoon. What the heck is ramoon? Lovely sort of turquoisey colour. Oh, wow. They're a bit like jelly tots. Oh, the jelly's not jelly enough for me. Not firm, is it? No. Would you like another? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm disappointed. That was horrible. Oh, it's not Banish horrible. that away. Take that with your hoard of food that you're keeping to one side, Mum. That is not horrible. Well, the it's one just not amazing. This very vibrantly packaged thing. Look at this. Mm, it's a lot going on there. Yeah. Patchy, patchy panic. A mouth invigorating mix of Japanese ramoon candy pieces and popping candy. And the flavours are cola, soda and grape. So there's lots of sharp angles on this. There is. Be very so, careful. Make sure you take those off with young children around. I just think that's going to be a bit zingy. It's popping candy. Yeah. Like, well, it should be. I'll be let's, very disappointed if let's not. Let's go for it then, okay. shall we? Oh my gosh, Ooh, that is bizarre. That's the surprise. That looks like... Well, it's not kryptonite coloured a little bit, but that looks like Superman sort of throwing up some paracetamol. Crystallised. Yeah. So that's the popping candy, surely. And then there's the ramoon. Right? Mm. I'm not sure about this one, are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> ah, bubble guy. <gasps> <laughs> I need it. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. There is a Jap Japanese rave going on in my mouth right now. <laughs> you need to bite through it. If you let it sit there, it's taken over. <laughs> that is the most aggressive popping candy I've ever eaten in my life. It could be dynamite. <laughs> you right? Well, I can't help you. You're on this journey now. I've never had that before. Well, <laughs> well, you know, you can take some of that with you as well, Mum. You can keep that one. Woo! Those like tablety bits stay in there, so they do soften slightly, but you still got to bite it through like a sherbet kick. It's popping candy with like almost like a sherbet tablet. Maybe that's what the moon is, sherbet. I don't like. <laughs> As a final thing, we started with like a nice like biscuit, <laughs> high fiber biscuit to start us off. Delicate one. And we're finishing with. Look at that! It does genuinely look like a beer. Oh, it's... yeah. That's quite greasy, isn't it? Bringing alcohol into kids' lives. Not recommended, <laughs> Not recommend. Guys. Thank you, Japan. But I remember, like, as a kid in the UK, you'd have those sweets that were cigarettes. Do you remember them? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. They were just, like, chalky. I used to love holding one like that. I Did thought you? It was, yeah, I thought it was something Until really special. Until my mum made special. me eat a real one. <laughs> fruit juice mm. with a caramel colour and malt flakes. It's malty fruit. Okay. What, you what are you beery. expecting from this, then? Pain. That's mm. weird. It does taste a little bit like high shower water, dentist water, it's Japanese. Isn't that? You know when they say it's pink and they go, take a swill and you just wash it out. <laughs> yeah? What even <laughs> is that? That pink. What is it? Mm. I'm on the fence with that one. Kind of feels like a day old apple juice that's been left yes. out on the side. Yes. It's just, so it's, it's not just, bad. It's not exciting. It's not. Naughty kid. Can be naughty if you want, so that's okay. Mm. But it, it, it did genuinely look like a beer. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I like the way they did that. What was your favourite, Mumsy? I have a think I have a feeling because I can see them over to one side. <laughs> You're like, these are mine now. This is my favourite. The one yeah. you said yeah. were like hard toenails. I mean, these are nice. not everyone's. To you know, you see those clips. I don't look at actively look at toenails, but you get those clips of people where they let them grow. Too long and they curl up. And they curl over like that. that. They were really, really nice. I am going to pivot over to the old burger corn stick. I think that was absolutely incredible. That was mm. like a whole meal in my mouth. I loved it. Whereas Thank that is delicious too. Both corny. 
one of those and chips. Yeah, you could, couldn't you? We've, mm -hmm. whole, we've had a whole meal, haven't we? The worst one, I think, was maybe that pillow thing. The popping candy was incredible. That was really fun. It was fun. It's not something I'd want to do again. No, but as a kid, if you had that, yeah, like, it felt like proper. No, it felt like we got like watered down popping candy here or something like that. Mm. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you didn't uh, see the recent one with Mrs. B and I, where we tried foods for the first time, I'd love to do that with you. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks, Mum, for coming along. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to consider subscribing for regular food fun. Thanks to the names on the screen for supporting the channel running, and of course, they have access to the Discord and early access to videos too so consider checking out our patron um yeah let us know any flavors down below you want to see in a future video cheers then uh i'm gonna go see a japanese dentist